Hey, how y'all was, I reckon? This is Gator from Show Creek Brewery. Sole proprietor, owner, and CEO, CFO, CEO, COO, and all them good uh, business abbreviations. Today we're going to be making a capsicum ale, which is made is a honey mead made with chili peppers. I'm using, I smoked some jalapenos I'm going to add to it. But first, I got a four bucket, four gallon bucket of wine that I'm on, that's been sitting in my primary for since uh, Memorial Day. Today I'm going to rack it and add some oak chips and uh, take a reading on it, see where we're at. It started at a 1050, 1.050 gravity. We're going to see where she's at today and take a little sample case. Gonna, some people might want to know, why don't you just up in your spigot? Well, if I did that, it would just all splash around in my bucket and uh, it created oxygen and oxygen is not your friend right now. It would oxygenate and give you all kinds of nasty ass flavors. So here we are using my automatic cycling. And there she goes. We're gonna fill it up. And uh, this is just a fork, fork god. Uh, just filling the bucket up. Okay. Uh, I made this uh, Memorial Day, like I said. I used four gallons of just regular off the shelf grocery store. Uh, 100% concentrated grape juice. Uh, I added, uh, let's see, this is four gallons. I added eight pound, or er, eight, eight cups, no, ten cups of sugar. Uh, and one package of, uh, Lavlin one, one four, uh, wine yeast. And it's been sitting ever since, uh, aging. Um, uh, and I've, I've not got my my uh, wand down here all the way to the bottom because there's going to be some sediment from the yeast and everything. So while this is filling up, uh, I won't bore you with watching me jabber jaw while I'm filling it. So uh, when I come back, we'll take a reading and take a little sip of her and see how she tastes. Okay. All right, I got her all drained out, or siphoned out. I'm gonna put this back in my uh, black bucket of sanitation. <laughs> now, I didn't leave that on the bottom because this is what you got left. Dead yeast and shit, uh, just all kinds of nasty stuff. You just kinda wanna dump that out. Uh, so we're gonna Set that over there for right time being. Now what we're gonna do? Reaching my black back of the sanitation. Get me a plastic rubber plastic whisk. What am I gonna do with this? I'm gonna degas it. There's some gas built up. Uh, CO2 that hadn't escaped from my uh, airlock. Now I know it's. Sounds like an oxymoron. You're gonna stir it, would that create oxygen? No, carbon dioxide is heavier than air. It'll create a, a, a air lock. I'm not gonna stir vigorously, I'm just gonna stir it back and forth for a few minutes. Oh yeah, there's, we're getting some, it, it's degassing for sure. You want to come and take a look at this? And uh, this, uh, one of the reasons he's using the rubber spoon is because of using plastic. Um, that way it doesn't mar the um, bucket. With stainless steel. And with stainless steel, and that way you don't get all kind of shavings and stuff in your bucket. I don't want to watch me do this for five or ten minutes. So. I'm just letting the foam die down for right now so I can get a good reading without all the foam and stuff in there. But uh, like I said, everything I've, I'm using has been cleaned and sanitized. And uh, let me see, I gotta get my 
hillbilly wine thief. As you can see, it's been sitting in the soaking in the sanitizer. Uh, and my cylinder for my hydrometer has been sanitized. Like I said, this started at a, at a 1.050. I don't know. I, I don't know what I'm going to expect out of this. I'm looking for at least, oh, at least 13% ABV. It might go as low as 11. We're gonna fix them to find out. You, we're all in this together. We're gonna. It, oh. All right. We are. Uh, that, that's not on the bottom, is it? No. We are at. Uh, maybe get a little shot. Make make sure it's not on the bottom. There we go. We are at well, zero nine nine or zero point nine nine zero. That's gone. Hmm. Ah, zero point nine. I don't know. That's something like that. Uh, again, this has been sanitized, more spent sanitized. Get a little taste test here. Oh, I, I, um. I got some uh, stuff from my home brewer, which is Jugs, out of Joplin, Missouri. Um, I guess where I got this glass, obviously. Uh, they didn't have any bentonite. They said you can't get bentonite no more. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's what you add before you add all your juices and everything to start clearing your wine. All they had was chitosan and the ketosol. I just put a package of ketosol in here when I, when I made it, and uh, look, I think that turned out pretty clear. Uh, uh. It, it's a little bit dark from transferring, but I might put a, another packet of chitosan in here to clear it up some more, but oh my god. That smells like, it smells like a Merlot. Mm. And on wine, when you, you see him swishing his mouth around, when you, uh, when you taste wine, you always, you, you always swish it the first time before you uh, take a drink that it opens up all of your, um, your glands and stuff in your mouth, uh, your taste buds. So that way you don't you don't always get that bitter wine face. Um, wow. And that that's why you saw him do that. That is good. It's a little dry like a Merlot, but it's not over dry where it just makes you, where it makes you mouth pucker like eating a, a sour lemon drop, but it's got enough mouth feel where it tastes like a Merlot where your mouth does pucker. And I'm not I'm not much of a wine drinker, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try this. That is awesome. That is that is awesome. That's actually very good. It's not too dry, it's not too sweet. Um, some people don't like real dry wine, but that's just for my taste buds. That could be a little sweeter, but not everybody likes the um, sweeter. But for the first batch, that's not actually not bad. Now what I'm going to do. Reach into my 
black bucket of sanitation, 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 son of a gun. <laughs> Where's my scissors at? Somebody sanitize my scissors away. Oh, really? Where'd my scissors go? There's my scissors. All right. These are actually poultry scissors, but I really haven't been killing any chickens lately with it. So they're clean and sanitized. I'm using um, Airing. some light, uh, light toasted oak chips. Now it says up to uh, 0.8 ounces per gallon. I got four gallons, so that would be, God, let's, I'm just use this whole bag. <laughs> I got four gallons. Uh, well, I'll use half a bag and see what it looks like and go from there, right? All right. Let's see. Now, the oak chip I'm using is to add a little bit of that oak barrel taste flavor. Um, Yeah, that looks pretty good. Where's my stirring stick at? Now, what you don't want to do is, uh, if you like me, I, I grill a lot, smoke a lot, and I use a lot of uh, wood chips to smoke my meat. You don't want to use that because it's got all kinds of chemicals and whatever they treat the oak chips with. This is pure unadulterated oak chips fresh off the... Out, out, of the, out of the lumber mill. I'm just gonna lightly stir these around a little bit, get them start, get them soaked. Uh, and also, I, I read somewhere, or somebody told me, or saw it, or had a dream. I probably had a dream. Uh, they said the oak chips, uh, instead of back sweeten right away, uh, the oak chips after letting it set a while will impart own natural sweetness to, to, to your wine. So I'm gonna try that. Yeah, I love it. That looks good. <laughs> so we're gonna try that. If, that. if that back sweetens it naturally, hey, all the more better, right? Uh, naturally sweetened and... Oh. Give it a little stir. Get a little bit more gas out of there. Okay. All right. And that's that for right now. Put that back in yonder. Uh, grab my lid. Make sure I got. The, you know, I have to fill that back up. Put this back on my lid. Well, maybe. Now, yeah, come on. Might have set her down on the ground and get some leverage on it. <sighs> well, said, why ain't you going on? sanitized water because if anything gets in here it'll kill it. Regular water, ah, uh, you're down, you can get some algae or something, something built up in there. Where'd my lid go? Oh, there it is. 
Rinse that off a tad. All right. That is done. Well, done for the beer and the time. Set this aside for a minute. Get on to the good stuff. Now, throw that away. Uh, 